Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and comment um, below if you like the video. So, as I said in my previous video, I had decided to take part in the Rasten Challenge in partnership with Concern Worldwide, um, which involves me eating the same food that refugees in Jordan from Syria would eat basically every week um, but I'll only be consuming the same food for a week so my box arrived today and I thought I would do a bit of an unboxing with you all to show you what exactly I will be eating for a week also before we start I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has donated so far my initial goal was to raise 250 pounds and we have far surpassed that already we're nearly at 500 pounds which is just amazing in the short space of time that i've um began trying to get sponsorship for this so thank you very much everyone and if you would like to donate um i will leave a link in the description below to where you can make a donation thank you very much okay so this is the box and with that, you're also given this uh, book of recipes which you can try. So we've got uh, hummus, falafels, some fried rice, and fasulia, which I've never tried before actually, so that'll be interesting. Um, you're also given this toolkit, um, which is to help you sort of learn more about the challenge. Um, you can see here just there's a deadline for getting sponsorships for them to send you a ration pack and um, there's also the sort of motto behind it which is raise funds uh, eat, eat rations and save lives there's also a little bit about um how to set up teams i'm part of a team um, and because of that we get an extra um part to our ration which is 210 mil of milk each so let's crack this box open So this, as I've said, is just one week supply um, of rations. Um, here's the contents. Um, they highlighted the tin sardines because because I don't eat meat. Um, they've just removed the sardines, so I assume that's why they've highlighted it. It's quite a small box, really. Um, So, we've got some vegetable oil, uh, 330 mils if the camera would focus, there we go. We also have a tin of red kidney beans, let's see, we also have 170 grams of red lentils, which really isn't all that it seems very very small amounts and 420 grams of rice uh, It looks like some of the oil must have leaked down into the box, but that's all right um, and finally we've got 85 grams of dried chickpeas uh, now in the box it says um, that sometimes the refugees are given these coupons. So obviously these are just for illustrative purposes, as it says on the back there. But you can ex you can go and buy yourself extra rice and flour to use as part of your rations as well. Okay, now I was able to pick up all this food just and hold it in one hand which is just crazy like a whole week's worth of food in a single hand um so this is going to be tough and it should be tough because this is what the refugees have to go through not just for a single week but for a very long time okay so that's what i have to live off for a whole week and 
as I was saying, that might be tough for me and anyone doing the challenge, but in the big perspective of it, that is just what a refugee has to go through for a single week. They have to go through this for months, even years. Um, so if doing this for just a single week helps raise enough money to sort of give them a bit more support, then that's totally worth it. And again, I'd really appreciate all the donations that you have made so far. And again, I'll leave the link down below um, if you'd like to donate. And yeah, so keep an, if, keep an eye on the channel um, and subscribe if you haven't because I will be filming pretty much each day of the challenge as well in September. Um, I'll also have a bit more content before that, obviously. Um, but yeah, hopefully everything works well. I, from what's planned, we are also going to our local newspaper. Um, a member of our team reached out to the spectator, so we should be having an interview with them on Monday, so which will be interesting. So, um, if you're local keep an eye out in the spectator and i will see you guys all again soon take care